all. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira and my channel is all about trying new makeup, talking about new makeup, but also finding new and exciting ways to be inspired by the makeup you already own. If that sounds good to you, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed today's video, hitting the like button. Today, guys, we're going to talk about empties. I haven't done an empties video, I think, since summer like beginning or mid middle of summer may have been the beginning june july time so i feel like it's time it's time because i have quite a few i even have some makeup on so that's exciting um yeah let's get into it first off let's start off with first off let's start off let's start off with what i have what the bulk of this empties video will be about which is like skincare related stuff i use a lot of skincare related items and when i say skincare i mean like face skincare as well as body care i go through a lot because i try to take care of my skin you guys and yeah and so as a result i tend to i'm using my products all the time i tend to empty them pretty quickly so first off let's start with face skincare and let's start off with the cleansing balm that I was using for the majority of the summer, which is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. Um, I bought this, I believe I bought this when I did my birthday haul with Ulta, and I really enjoyed this. I probably will eventually pick it up again. Right now I'm using the Pharmacy Green Clean, which is a higher end product, way more expensive. You do get a little bit more product, but that was more like me treating myself i don't really you don't need a you know 30 something dollar you know cleansing balm that's crazy this one i believe is 11 bucks i do wish it was bigger i wish they had like an even like i think they have a deluxe size i might if i pick this up again which i probably will get the deluxe size because i do feel like i went through this really fast so the so while it was much cheaper than my pharmacy green clean I went through this much faster than I would my pharmacy green clean. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think it's a really good one. The, the, the litmus test for me when it comes to good cleansing balms is if it can get my mascara off. My mascara is not waterproof. I don't wear waterproof mascara. But I'm one of those people who mascara just like gloms onto my eyelashes and it's very hard for me to get off. And I don't care how much I like use an eye makeup remover. I almost always have a little bit left and I do use an eye makeup remover usually and then go in with my cleansing balm and I still have mascara a lot of the times. It's one of the reasons why I don't wear waterproof because I feel like I've already got issues removing it. Um, but yeah, this is one of the few that actually does a really good job just on its own to remove mascara and that's saying something. That is, that's a good cleansing balm. Next up is the um, Belief True Cream Aqua Balm moisturizer and I really enjoyed this um it smells yummy too it's not like heavily scented but it has a nice scent to it um but yeah I went through this pretty quickly um this was sort of like my summer moisturizer um I have normal to oily skin or oily to normal skin and in the summer I tend to go more for moisturizers that have like a gel cream texture because they um, something really heavy can be a bit much for my skin. So this was perfect in those, you know, super hot summer months. This is what I was reaching for. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I've used this before. This isn't my first time using this. I tend to, like I said, buy these types of moisturizers in the summer. So I'd used this in a previous summer and I enjoy it. I finish it up, would buy it again. 10, 10 recommend. Next up is the Belief Moisture Eye Balm. And I got this as a sample when I purchased, or like a little deluxe when I got this. And I love this eye cream. I'm not an eye cream person, but I've been getting into them more lately. And I've just really, I've always enjoyed the Belief one. And they recently had it on sale at Ulta during the 21 Days of Beauty. And I seriously considered buying it. I had it in my cart. I'm like 50% off, sure. And I don't know, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't justify buying a giant jar of eye cream. <laughs> I was like, no, that's silly. I don't use eye cream like that. Meanwhile, I'm using eye cream all the time. That's just me being in denial about the fact that I now use like, I like eye cream. But this is a really good one. So if you are in the market for an eye cream, it's really lightweight. It absorbs nicely. It feels good on the skin. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend the Belief one if you are in the market for an eye cream. And finally, I have the Lancome by Facile. 
And this is what it looks like. And I've emptied one of these before. I have the smaller bottle. This is the big bottle and I finished the big bottle. It took me a really long time to finish this. These are expensive, but like I said, it took me a long time to finish it. So I feel like it was worth it because I got a lot of bang for my buck. Um, yeah, I really like this, I, the Lancome eye makeup remover. I'm, I'm in the, I have another one in my bathroom right now that I'm using. It's a smaller one that I got during the Ulta cell. Once I finish that one, I would let, I would branch out and try some other ones, but that one was on sale for 50% off. So I threw it in my cart because I was like, you know, I like it. I know I like it. It's 50% off. I'm just going to buy it. So yeah, but if you are looking for a really good gentle remover, eye makeup remover that does actually remove makeup and you're not rubbing, 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 this is a really good one. It's a really good one. And it, it doesn't leave your eyes feeling dry. You know, sometimes some eye makeup can just make your eyes feel like you've just pulled all the moisture from the skin of your eye, your, you know, like your eyelids and your under eye. It doesn't make you feel that way. It actually feels quite, not moisturizing, but your, it, because it has that oil, that biphase formula, it, it feels good on the skin. And finally, for skincare, I have my Kula Classic Sunscreen. Um, you guys have seen this in my empties before. I go through these like foiter. Um, I only buy them on sale though because they're hella expensive. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, it might be a little bit left like right here. I don't know how much though. Probably not a full. Yeah, that's not a full. It's like a little glob. But I love this. I love this sunscreen. It's one of my faves. I use it year round. It's perfect for summer. It's perfect for winter. I, I tend to go back and forth as far as sunscreens go. I have like my like my colder month sunscreens and my you know warmer hot month sunscreens and this is one of the few that works all year round for me and just as far as how it feels on my skin. Um, my only gripe, my only gripe with this sunscreen is the packaging. As you can see here, this has a, a cap and I have owned this sunscreen. I've purchased this sunscreen numerous times and every single bottle has had the cap crack and then come off and then I'm just left with the inner casing of the cap and I just feel like for 32 doll hairs that should not be happening that's my one gripe that's the only gripe I have with this product is the packaging uh, that that bugs me to no end and it's happened with literally every single one including the body one i also use the body one in the summer months and i love it but the same exact thing happens where it cracks you like you're opening and closing it and the plastic is just really thin and cheap and i think it just cracks it gets these little like hairline cracks and then eventually it just pops off and you might as well just throw it because it's completely useless and so i throw it away and then i'm left with the outer casing here so yeah my one gripe with this product they need to do better with the casing next let's get to body care so I finished up this Pacifica shower gel in the scent it's called I love this the um, scent island vanilla which is vanilla lavender and white tea calming plant powered aromatherapy this was really nice I finished it up I enjoyed it um yeah I, I it was a good summer scent I mean I don't know if I'd purchase it again it was sort of like you know something to try I'm a huge shower gel person and I love trying different scents and I don't always go back to repurchase I do with some but most of them I just kind of move on to the next thing that one was great if you like a sort of I would say this is a summer scent I I mean it, you can use whatever you want in the shower year-round of course as far as scent scope but for me the smell of that is so intrinsically summery that I wouldn't repurchase it now I'd maybe repurchase it in the summer the next shower gel that I finished is the Frank Body what is this called? A clean body wash. And it's in the scent. I think it's called the scent Sunday brunch. They say it smells like Sunday brunch. I don't know if it smells like Sunday brunch. It smells amazing. It's so fresh and it has a bit of citrus scent to it. Um, I don't think it's summery, but I don't think it's wintery either. It's just one of those like really nice when you get in the shower early in the morning and you just want something that kind of wakes you up and it just feels really pleasant to smell. This is a great one. Now, I talked about the Frank body in shower moisturizer in a video, and I talked about how much I disliked that, and I was worried that I wasn't going to like this because I hadn't started this yet, hadn't opened it. This is amazing. That I just, I can't get with in shower body moisturizers, not the biz, but this is really lovely, and it's thick, and even though it's a, it's definitely a gel, it doesn't feel drying on the skin. It's very, um, it's very 
soft on the skin. It doesn't get super sudsy, which I was surprised because it seems like the type of formula that would get really sudsy. It doesn't. It gets it gets sudsy to a point, but I think that's also another reason why it doesn't feel so drying on the skin because it doesn't get, you know, the surfactant isn't like over the top. But yeah, I like this. And if you enjoy like something that's sort of a, a good all year round body wash scent, I think that's a good option. And last but not least for body, it is the Hemp's Koa and Sweet Almond Moisturizer. And I talked about this in I think that same video. And I talked about how when I first smelled this, I hated it. I thought it was so strong and over the top. And I still feel that way. Like when you smell this in the bottle, you're like, oh my God, it's so strong. The almond is so strong. But on the body, it's so soft and light. And it just leaves a really nice, soft scent. And so, I, like I said in that video, if you're interested in the Koa Sweet Almond, and it is strong in the bottle when you first smell it, but it does not translate onto the skin that way. On the skin, it is a very light, a very soft, a very pleasant scent, which is what I was going for. I was going for a really soft, like light almond scent. That's what it is like on the body. It's just not like that in the, in the bottle. And I enjoyed this so much that I bought a second one. Like during the, I think these were on sale during the Ulta sale. I bought another one of these and I have this and I'm working through another bottle of this. That's how much I liked it. Next up, let's talk about some makeup. And it's not a lot. It's not a lot. I don't pan a lot of makeup. Most of the things that I pan are things that I'm using all the time, every day. You know, you're like your your mascaras, your lip pencils. Well, not lip pencil, but you're like your eyebrow pencils, your concealers, those type of things. So first up is my Kosas Creamy Revealer Concealer. I panned this one. I already have a new one. I've been using it already. I've just been amassing my my um, my empties to show you guys. But this I finished at the end of July, beginning of August. One of those. So yeah, I've been using. I've had a new one for a while, and I've been using it on a fairly regular, fairly regular basis. This is my favorite concealer. I knew when I emptied it that I was gonna, I was gonna buy a new one. I was like, I was shocked that I went through this as fast as I don't. It took me a while to get through the last concealer I panned, and I didn't think I was someone who could pan a concealer, but apparently I am. Apparently I can when it's a concealer that I use all the time, and I wear like sometimes if I'm not wanting to wear my uh, foundation and I just want a little bit of a little bit of light coverage, I'll apply it here, a little bit on my cheeks, on the chin right around here for any redness and that's it but i did that a ton with this bottle and i think that's another reason why i was able to go through it so fast but i've already purchased it i'm already using the new one love that concealer 10 10 recommend and then next up is my brow pencil which i have not repurchased and i'm thinking i'm going to switch back to brow powder i used to use brow powder all the time and i was using in the pinch i ran out of this this is the anastasia brow wiz in medium brown and this is a repurchase. I purchased this around the same time that I purchased my Kosas foundation, which is why I was shocked that I had emptied that I had finished this already because it usually takes me way longer than that. And I'm wondering if they're putting less product in these things. Anywho, I missed the Ulta sell when they were having 50% off of these, but I kind of am like okay with that. I'm kind of ready to try something different. I just don't know what yet, but I'm thinking it might be a brow powder. But yeah, in a pinch, I was using brow brown shadow like a cool toned brown eyeshadow from a palette that I love and I was just um thinning it out on my hand and then applying it and it was working so beautifully and I was like I forgot how much I love brow powders so I think I'm gonna look for brow powder if any of you know of a good brow powder let me know in the comments down below because I'm in the market for one but yeah I finished my brow is and then the final product is I finished my Ellis Brooklyn West little little baby perfume here this is the travel size or purse size um I really liked this and I didn't when I first bought it I was like it's one of those perfumes where you where you first try it and this was a blind purchase and I didn't know if I liked it I was like mm, I don't know how I feel about that but I kept reaching for it and I kept using it and it kind of became like my everyday scent and then I finally had to sort of like admit to myself that I did enjoy it it's not a it's not a it's not gonna rock your world 
You know, it's not that kind of scent. It's just one of those scents that smells good. It's just like a really good utilitarian everyday kind of scent. And that's why I was able to finish it up because I was reaching for it all the time. I just wanted something, but I didn't want anything super intrusive. I wasn't going for a specific vibe. I just wanted a really nice scent. And that's how I would describe this. Like, It's very clean. It's crisp. It's not, it, there's no notes in it that stand out. There's something slightly soapy about it when you first smell it, but on the skin, once you spray it on, it that kind of fades a little bit to this really sort of clean, soft scent, which I really like. And it's great for those days where you just want to smell good, but you don't want to smell like necessarily anything specific, you know? You don't want to be like, I smell like vanilla, I smell like flowers, I smell like, you know, whatever. I smell like chocolate or apples or cherries. You don't want to smell like a thing, you just want to smell nice. This is basically what that gives. So yeah, I, I would recommend it on that front. Would I repurchase this? I don't know. There's a couple of other perfumes on my wish list that I would probably purchase first, but I'm not averse to repurchasing this. I probably would still buy the small size though, not the large. All right guys, so that is everything that I have panned since my last project pan, which I believe was in the beginning of the summer, I'm thinking. So yeah, not a ton that I've panned, but enough. Um, yeah, and I'm probably going to have more because I started a little mini project pan for the end of the year from like October to the end of December. So my next empties should be a bit more robust as far as like beauty products, makeup products, things like that. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.